the biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these six players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight, on the World Poker Tour. From Los Angeles and the legendary Bicycle Casino, tonight we bring you the final table of the Legends of Poker. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Sexton along with Vince Van Patten and welcome to the WPT. And Mike, here we go again. We are back at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles, my hometown, and what a tournament this is. You know, legends have been born here. We've had great players, big time players like Dan Harrington and of course Doyle Brunson who have taken this title. Yeah, the living legend himself. But these six players tonight are making their first ever WPT final table appearance. And although you might not be familiar with their faces, believe me, this is not the first rodeo for any of these guys. They all know the way around the green felt. All right, let's go to the table. In seat number one, we have a 21-year-old player. He's an online player, and he's recently finished ninth at the season's Bellagio Cup 5, along with two relatively unknown players who have quietly been building their reputations with numerous caches on the tournament circuit. We've also got two season tournament <laughs> veterans Perlad Freeman and Toto Leonidas, each with a World Series of Poker bracelet on their poker resume. But the man to beat right now is our chip leader, Kevin Schaffel, who first rose to fame as a member of the 2009 November 9, when he made the final table of a WSOP main event. Well, Vance, they've all got a shot at the WPT title and the million dollars that goes with winning this tournament. The question is, who's going to take this title and become the next legend of poker? Uh, we will find out shortly. Let's go watch him gamble. So here we go, the final table of Legend of Poker about to get underway. And ironically, we've got one 21-year-old at the table this tournament, and the other five guys are all over 30, something we don't see often anymore. Okay, the Andes are going to start at 3,000. Lines 12 and 24,000. Action's going to Todd Terry from Hoboken, New Jersey, 35 years old. He's an Ivy League math guy, now playing poker. Also a former lawyer, very educated guy, went to Harvard. And then law school. Quickly folds Kevin Schaffel out. And now, young man from Malibu, Pallad Freeman. Yeah, your neighbor, Vinny. Yeah. He's going to fold that hand. I can't pick up my cards. Well, this is Mike Kriskanko. He's a longtime poker veteran. Been around for over 20 years. I played a lot of poker with this guy. He's primarily a limit poker player and a high-low split player. But here he is, a no-limit WPT final table. Very exciting. He's got Queen 10. He's going to bump it up 58,000 to go. Toto, local professional out of L.A., quickly folding his hand. Oh, but the 21-year-old has picked up big slick in the big blind. He's got ace king. I just can't imagine with his chip stack, he's not going to be coming over the top right here. He's starting out in fifth chip position. Yep. Calls himself King Kobe MVP online. That's his nickname. Loves Kobe Bryant. And he's got to love this hand. Big slick on hand number one. He'll be changing that name to King Sam if he wins this tournament. <laughs> All right, he's going to re-raise. Makes it 206,000. Back on Mike Kraskanko. Sam starting his final table with about 740,000 in chips. Mike starting with about 1.2 million. We got another five behind Sam. Yep. How can you not know, Vince? He just wants to hear him talk. Hell yeah. Just wants to hear the guy chatter in case his voice cracks a little. But on the first hand of the night, it's impossible not to know how many chips each opponent has. How much more is it? You know, you're going to do at least that much homework to find out who's got what amount of chips and who can bust you. Hey, look at that look on Mike's face. Like he just got stuck with a cow prod. You know, it's, it's a deer in the headlights. It's a cow prod on your side. It just doesn't feel good. And the truth is, it's just a matter of if Mike's in a gambling mood or not. I'm going to take a flop with this Queen 10. Ooh, he he does make, make the call, so here we go. Good action on hand number one. we got a young pro going up against an old pro here. A little surprising. Here's the flop. Oh, oh what a flop for Mike. He's out in front now with two queens as it comes. Queen, eight, five. Action on Sam Stein, though, first. Well, this could spell doom for the youngster. 340,000. Well, he's going to bet 340,000. Mike quickly oh. goes all in and is called by the ace king. 
Sam sort of pot committed here. And on deal number one, the 21-year-old could be out of here, Vince. Behind Paul and Queenstown. Man, big slip could be backfiring in a big way. Well, as the cars lie right now, Mike Kraskanko about a 70% favorite to win this pot. Well, the 21-year-old wondering how he could call a raise with a clean 10 offsuit to start with, but it's not over. He's looking for an ace or a king or two cars to make a straight, but right now, the youngster in trouble. Hand number one, we could have a casualty. Oh, he's got some hope there. Turn card is a seven of diamonds. Well, this gives Sam a flush draw, as well as the two over cards. He doesn't catch an ace, king, or diamond. He's gone, but he's done it. The jack of diamonds comes on the river. So once again, Lady Luck shining on the youngster, the 21-year-old catching the flush on the river to stay alive at this final table. And that is tough luck for Mike Kriskanko. He is now in sixth place in chip position. Only get in with the best of it, boys. Oh, man, complete pandemonium here at the bike. Such an easy game. You run pretty good, kid. Wow. Stay with us. Maybe I'm crazy. Six players remain. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Uh, yeah, when I was like 19 or 20 and watching it on TV, you know, I was getting good at poker and I thought there was a good chance that I could make it to a WPT final table or two. Being this young and already getting a chance to play for a million dollars is, is just a thrilling experience. I live in Malibu. Playing here at the bike is great because I can sleep in my own bed at night, which is awesome. And I've been jumping in the pool every morning before playing, a little somersault in. And then you just take that nice drive on PCH and uh, you just watch the surfers and just cruise on over here. Prahlad Friedman loves life. He is officially the first hippie poker player on the tour. <laughs> I doubt it. Straight from the commune of Malibu, Pilot Friedman drives a Prius to boot. I mean, you just don't get more hippie than that. He's a good buddy of mine. He's a great guy and a great poker player. And right now, he's in fourth chip position, but he's got some chips. Right now, our chip leader is Kevin Schaffel, 2.2 million. Six players going after a lot of money, over a million dollars here today at the bike. Let's go to the table. Well, action's on Kevin right here. Looks down in an ace eight off suit. He's under the gun, meaning he's first to act. I'll tell you what impresses me about Kevin is the guy's a scratch golfer. <laughs> well, Kevin's going to raise it, makes it 60,000 into the hippie. I mean, Prahlad, and he's got a big hand, big slick, ace king. Well, we just saw Sam Stein do very well with his ace king. He doubled up with it in the last pot. Let's see what happened to Prahlad here. There's D Friedman. That's Perla's wife. She is quite a poker player herself. Perla looks like he's getting more chips out with his ace king. Yes, he is going to make it a clean 200,000 to go. That comes right over the top with the ace king, just as we saw Sam Stein do in the previous pot. Skanko and Toto both out. Sam Stein not going to call. I have a leaguer math guy also out. So back around to Sheffield. No, he won't play. So your neighbor takes down the pot there, Benny. Pallad Freeman taking that pot down. No fight. Brings a smile to D's face. Okay, and just like that, the price of poker is going up. $5,000 ante, and the blinds will be 15 and 30000 So that's 75000 around. It costs you to play now. So all those guys that try to sit back and wait for aces and kings, their stack will get dwindled down. You got to mix it up and play if you want to win these WPT titles. Action going to Toto Leonidas, the longtime pro out of L.A., originally out of the Philippines. He quickly folds his hand. Sam Stein now also folding. Now around to the former lawyer, Todd Terry. He goes out. Kevin out. Back around to Prahlad Friedman. Oh, the battle of the blinds, and look at this. Prahlad picks up two kings in the small blind. We just saw him pick up ace king in the last pot. Another monster right here. Oh, the hippie could start to do a moon dance. Have to see in that hand. And he's going to raise it up. Makes it 65,000 to go. 
And Mike Kriskenko, he has a big hand as well. Oh. Ace Queen, he says all in. Oh, well, this is a standard play by Mike, no question about That's it. Quick call by Pallad, of course, with the Kings. Well, you see the disgusted look in Mike's face as he sees a small blind picked up two Kings. He's saying, what is going on here? You certainly can't blame Mike for going all in here with Ace Queen out of the big blind. He's only got about 500 and chips. You pick up a hand like that against a small blind, you're going to play it. What can I do? I'm going to lay that down. Anyone laying that down? No one in the world. It's kind of hard to lay that down, isn't it? <laughs> well, Mike said up front he didn't care whether it came in first or sixth. Doesn't care about the money. I think he's going to start caring about the money. Kings up against Ace Queen early on here. Well, it's not over yet, though. Mike can obviously catch an ace. Let's both make a flush in spades. Or make some kind of flush or straight to win this pot, but let's see what happens. Oh, oh king oh. right in the door, as we say. Some king nine deuce. Unbelievable. Well, Mike's got to hit two running cards to make a straight. It's all he can win with. Must catch a ten and a jack. Nothing else will do. The 20-year poker pro. He's going to be taking that drive back to Arizona here very shortly as the queen comes up on the turn. That's going to do it. This wasn't meant to be for Mike today. That's obvious. Got very unlucky on the first hand. Ran into a big dude right here. Mike Kriskanko out in sixth place. Yeah, dire times for him as he walks away into the darkness of the Bicycle Casino. Picks up $89,000. $89, Thanks. Every now and then I get <laughs> No play, sir. You know, they said you were a tricky player, but they, they, I, I really mean it now. They really mean it. We were all rooting for you, though. I could feel it. We are down to five players at the bike. Stay with us. We're coming back with more exciting action on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. It's going to be exciting to be out on the stage. I was in Borgata last year. I don't want to look at the river. You guys tell me what. And a good friend of mine, Jason Strocek, made it to fourth. Jason getting a good man hug from a friend. Can his hand hold up? And so I was rooting him on right there. I was his railbird last year. Well, the deuce comes off. He's done it. And uh, so I've got a little experience as to what the stage looks like and the audience and all that. So it's going to be just tremendously exciting. And uh, I hope the cards cooperate. Mr. Kevin Chappell. I have to say, I think the man hug lasted a little too long. <laughs> Welcome back to the World Poker Tour, where five players remain at the Legends of Poker. Kevin, the only guy at the table that's a scratch golfer, I can tell you that. Wow, that's impressive. Our current chip leader is the former lawyer, Todd Terry, up on top, but everybody other than Toto Leonidas has got plenty of chips to play with. All right, back to the table, a couple quick folds. Prahlad and Toto out. Now Sam Stein, the 21-year-old out of L.A., also folding. Over to the former lawyer, Harvard graduate. Mathematics nice. whiz, he is going to raise it. Comes in for 90000 From Hoboken, New Jersey, that's where Frank Sinatra was born and raised, and he's raised it. Kevin, of course, got a lot of notoriety by making the main event final table of the World Series of Poker in 2009. This is first WPT final table. Todd has made it 90,000 to go, but Kevin is going to call with Jack 10 right behind him of spades. Well, here comes a flop. What a flop for Todd. Mm -hmm. Raised it with King High and catches two Kings. He's got top pair. Kevin has got second pair. Well, Todd's bet 115, and Kevin doesn't believe him. He's going to make this call. Going to the turn. When a Jack comes off. Beautiful car for Kevin there, as he's now made two pair to take the lead. Now look at that little Hollywood pinky check by Todd Terry. That was very soft. Either that or his pinky's twitching. That looked like a piano player's check to me. You know, he <laughs> uses little fingers, you know, dink, dink, dink. Well, he's checked wisely, and Kevin now spiking the two pairs, coming out with a bet. He's going to bet 250000 Now what do you do with top pair if you're Todd Terry? This is what poker's all about, folks, making tough decisions. Well, he doesn't care about decisions. It all comes down to math with this guy, he says. <laughs> He's a genius math whiz. Oh. Oh, boy. So a big pot brewing here between Todd and Kevin. 
River card comes up. Five of spades helping either player. There's the pinky check again. And Kevin surprisingly checks two pair right behind him. I believe we could have got a little value out of that two pair had he made a small wager there. Opted